Good afternoon, Sharks. Hello. I'm sorry I'm so late. Um, I had some meetings this morning, and I am dealing with some grade concerns. I'm going to go ahead and touch base on a couple things with you. Um, guys, I love you all so much, and I'm trying my best to keep up with grades. Let me tell you what's happening. We were required to put in all 10 days, so day 1 through 10 of grades, um, and they pretty much all went in at the same time. So what happened was a lot of you ended up getting zeros and missings. The reasons you got zeros and missings was one because it's it's miss it was missing in Google Classroom when I looked, okay? And two because some of you are doing paper copies. Paper copies are going to get a zero and missing until I receive the paper copies, okay? Um the issue that I'm having is that I'm getting a lot of emails now because you're seeing your grades drop and you're trying to submit your projects now. Okay? after they've been due. Um, I'm still accepting them, but your grade is going to go in when I get to it. I'm not trying to be mean. Uh, I have uh, 150 kids, and if you look on my screen right now, this hasn't even been updated. I'm sure it's more now. I have 1,211 people that have s uploaded um, to Google Classroom since I've put grades in and that's not including the ones I've already updated. So when you guys are going back in now understand that I have to go all the way back into Google Classroom I have to go through all of your submissions so if you submitted all 10 assignments I have to go through and look at all 10 assignments and then I have to plug each grade individually into PowerSchool. If I have 150 kids not even let's say I have 90 kids going back and doing that all at once Okay, it's going to take me a minute to get to yours and update it. So please understand that it's not that I'm ignoring you or that I'm not updating your grade. I don't want you to have a zero. Of course I don't want you to have a zero. I'm, I'm, it's just taking me a minute to go back through all of the students that are now submitting things. Some of you are saying, Mr. Roca, I didn't know that we were supposed to upload progress. Um, on every single description that I have in your Google Classroom for your assignment, it says update progress daily. That's what you were. That's why it's an assignment. Your submission that day didn't have to be the final product. Remember, it just had to be what you got done that day. Um, I've posted that on your Google Classroom. I've posted that on your Google Classroom stream. I've posted that on Instagram. I've posted that on YouTube, and I've posted that on TikTok. I am trying my best to let you guys to 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 send my messages to you to let you know what is expected of you. So please, 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 just be patient. I'm going back and fixing your grades. It's just going to take me a minute. Um, okay, so your assignment today, and thank you for your patience. I really do appreciate it. I know you guys are, um, some of you are having a hard time with all this too. It is a lot for you guys, for us, the teachers, the, the, you know, the principals. It's a lot. So, you know, us working together is great. Um, you know, we just need to be patient with one another and, and, you know, to communicate the best that we can. Email, you know, I tell you guys, email me if you need anything. Let me know what's going on so that I know, um, you know. So please, please, please understand that, that I want us to work together and, um, you know, I know we're all doing the best that we can. So, okay, moving on. <laughs> um, photo P, you're just going to open up your project. Um, so you should have taken a picture and if you didn't you can do that today just take a picture of something that's springy you know plants that are blooming a tree something like that and then um, you can add a filter you can uh, write on it you can draw on it like whatever you want to do I'm being pretty I'm, I'm allowing you to have some creative input with this one like you don't necessarily have to do something or anything specific uh, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open my project, Spring Flowers, and I've already added, um, yesterday I added the pixelation, like the filter, so your filters are up here, you can kind of play around with some of those if you want. To add a, a frame, uh, I'm just going to go to my rectangular select tool, and I'm going to stretch, I'm trying to make the edges as even as possible, okay, so kind of like that, you can make them thicker if you want. And then you're going to go to select inverse and then make sure you right click rasterize your, your picture. I'm going to control X is cut, control D is deselect and then you've got a frame. 
that you can paint that too. Um, it looks like it's a little thin. I'm going to fix it up here. Actually, I kind of want it a little bit thicker. So let's see. All right, let's see how this looks. All right, inverse, select inverse, control X, control D. All right, that looks a little bit better. I like that. Okay, so you can paint it too if you want. Uh, add a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and put this as like a border color. And you can go into your paint bucket. Um, maybe I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool and pull one of these purples. That's pretty. And then just click behind there. And then you've got like a color border. I actually like the white better, so I'm going to go back. I think the white looks nicer. I'm going to keep it white. Okay. So um, you can add text. When you add text, remember, it auto goes to 24 pixels. So you might want to turn it up so you can see it better. Um, it's to do black. I'm going to go to white and then type in spring is here. Uh, it's underneath my picture, so you want to move it to the top there. Spring is here. Whoops. Oh, well. Missed it up there. Spring is here. You can highlight it all and change the font style. Something more springy looking. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, this one. That's cute. Okay. I actually want it bigger than this too, so I'm going to go 300. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. All right. So I've got like my spring is here. How cute. All right. And my border. Okay. And then you just kind of mess around with it. You can do other things. If you want to draw on it, someone asked me if they could do a collage. You could do a collage. You can do whatever you want. Make it fun. Make it cute. All right. When you're all done, you can save it as a PSD. Um, you're also going to export it as a JPG and upload to Google Classroom. And that's it. That is your last assignment before spring break. Please make sure you get all of your things uploaded and submitted to me that you're missing. And I will go through and I will be going through from the, for the rest of the day and probably the night and updating your grades. Okay. I hope you guys have a safe spring break. Um, I hope you enjoy, you know, the weather. Be safe out there. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for understanding and being patient um, as, you know, I'm, I'm doing these things and updating your grades and everything. So I, I really appreciate it. Um, check out Facebook. Uh, check out um, Insta my Instagram. And you can see I'm uploading your assignments. So I just posted the eyes yesterday. Um, today I'm going to be doing, I think, noses. Um, so I'm updating and uploading your projects that you've done. So I'm excited. I'll be posting probably throughout the spring break also. So just keep checking to see your beautiful artwork. All right. I love you guys. I miss you so much. And have a great spring break. I'll talk to you soon. Please email me if you have any questions or concerns. Okay. Bye.